If you're watching this video, it's because you're about to go on a cruise ship and you're wondering, how do I make friends? Well, fear no more because this is a video for you. Hi there, my name is Alexi Tarquini. I'm 17 years old and I've been on 20 plus cruises. Yes, I know, it's a lot. So I know literally everything from Lido Deck to the tips and tricks of walking in that teen club and stealing someone's man and saying, you about to be my cruise fling. You about to be my cruise bestie. I know everything. So if you want to walk into the teen club with your chin up, rating in that positive energy, attracting who you want to attract, then follow all the steps, all the tips, everything that I say in this video. And I promise you, you will walk out of that teen club with lifelong friends, a cruise fling bay on Snapchat. That's a little questionable though. And more confidence that you had when you before you walked on the boat. Like you'll be more confident when you get, you know what I mean. So um without further ado let's get into this video i will tell you everything i do both before i go inside the teen club and also when i'm in the teen club and also outside of the teen club to make friends on a cruise ship okay so the first thing that i do when i'm on a cruise ship is i make sure that i feel confident both inside and outside so that i can make sure that i'm presenting my best self to people that i want to be friends with and people that i might want to be cruise flings with and what i mean by that is I'll make sure that I'm popping up on the cruise ship and popping up in the teen club in an outfit that I feel confident in. If I don't feel confident in a skirt showing my legs, then I won't wear a skirt. If I don't feel confident in a crop top, then I won't wear a crop top. If I feel confident in a hoodie, then I'm going to wear a hoodie. So don't feel like you have to overdress and over impress to try to get someone's attention. Literally, just wear what you feel like wearing. Wear what you wouldn't wear back home with your friends. Think about it. If I'm going out with my friends back home, what would I wear with them? Oh, I would wear that. So let me wear that to the teen club. Literally wear what you know best. Wear what you feel the most confident in. Because when you start doing things that you feel the most yourself in, then you'll be able to represent yourself the best that you can. And people will be like, oh, she knows who she is. Like, she's cool. I want to be friends with her. I want to be her cruise fling, you know? So do that. Do that. Don't try to be someone else that you're not. You know, be yourself. Um, and for internally, what I like to do is I listen to a shit ton of subliminals before I go on cruise ships because it just helps me get in that mindset. It's all like the law of attraction, manifestation, um, just radiating positive energy, meditation, like just, I guess, becoming one with myself and really believing that I am the person that I dream to be. So I know that sounds super cliche, but just really tell yourself affirmations and you're going to believe it. Um, every day on the cruise ship in the morning before you go inside the teen club stand in the mirror say I'm that bitch I'm pretty I got a fat ass whatever you want to say just like say it and it will help you I trust I, trust me it will help you when you're in the teen club because you will see the most confident people that you've ever seen in your life and it is so easy to compare yourselves to them and to feel worse about yourself so you need to make sure that you are confident in yourself but this isn't only for cruise ships like this is for life in general you need to make sure that you're sure of yourself and if you notice patterns and things that are making you feel like unconfident in yourself then detach yourself from them so that you could present the best version of yourself to people because if you're out here walking insecure on your phone even though the wi-fi doesn't even work on the cruise ship walking in the teen club like this you really think that someone's gonna want to be friends with you no no so think about that figure out what works best for you what are some things that you typically do on your day-to-day -day routine when you're back home to make you feel confident and apply that when you're on the cruise ship in the teen club now step two on making friends in the teen club i'm gonna start getting into like what i actually do when i'm on the cruise ship to make friends this is both for when you're inside the teen club and outside the teen club because you could literally make friends anywhere the teen club is just the hot spot for meeting people on the first day because that's where all the teens will kind of gather that's where you kind of establish your friend groups and stuff but trust me if you really don't want to go to the teen club on the first day you're not doomed you can still make a lot of friends you can still meet a lot of people it's just the easiest way to meet people if that makes sense but so step two on what i do to make friends in the teen club is i go on the first day even though i've been on so many cruises i still just love going on the first day there have been some cruises where i haven't gone at all and i still made a lot of friends so that's what i'm saying the thing is it doesn't matter you know which teen club you go in if you don't go to the teen club you'll still make a lot of friends it just matters who you are and what you're doing to make friends but if you're more extroverted and i mean not extroverted if you're more introverted and more shy i would definitely highly suggest going on the first day because everyone in the teen club is going to be in the same position as you they're gonna want to be talking to people and making friends your fear of rejection does not make any sense because if 
you talk to someone in the teen club, why would they reject you? They're in the teen club for a reason. They're in the same position as you. They want to be a part of a friend group. They want to live their life. They probably watched this video just like you did. So honestly, use that to your advantage and feel like, hey, I got the offer up. You know, I listened to Alexia. She's been on 20 cruises. I'm listening to her tips. I'm gonna go up to them first and ask them, is this your first cruise? And that goes into step number three talking to them when you're inside the teen club what i do and i call this my social riz or teen club riz is i always ask them is this your first cruise or um i ask them are you going to the teen club so if it's someone who's lurking around the teen club like around the outside and not walking in i'll go up to them and i'll say are you going to the teen club because i could kind of see that they want to go but they're too nervous to go inside and the fact that i go up to them and i make them feel more comfortable and i let them walk in with me boom solid friend connection right there all you really need is one person and once you have your cruise bestie you can literally go up to people with your cruise bestie and just add people to your group that's what i've done almost every single time and it's always just been the best thing that works for me so i would highly recommend finding a cruise bestie, and then just going up to people with your bestie, because the chances of someone rejecting you when you're with your friend is very low compared to the chances of someone rejecting you when you're by yourself. But also not saying that you can't make friends by yourself. Of course you can, but especially if it's your first cruise, it's a lot easier to just do it when you have a cruise bestie with you. Um, so that's when you're like lurking around the outside of the teen club, or even if you're in Lido deck and you see someone that looks cool, ask them if they're going to the teen club, if they look around your age, and even if they say that they're not, literally you could still be friends with them, be like, oh, really, why, like, how old are you? They'll be like, oh, I'm 17, oh, really, I'm 17 too, like, do you want to go to the hot tub later tonight? Boom. Um, and when you're inside the teen club, what I like to say is, is this your first cruise? So I go up to them, I say, is this your first cruise? And me saying that, I'm opening up a conversation for them to say yes and or no and. And then they'll ask me. And then I'll continue. Then we'll start randomly talking about random stuff. I'll be like, oh my God, by the way, I love your shoes. You know, oh my God, like what game do you wanna play? Like, do you wanna go play foosball with me? Have you ever been on this ship before? Random stuff. Literally what I highly press on is literally just say what feels right in the moment. Say what feels right in the moment. Don't try to overanalyze everything because everyone on the team club literally just does not give a fuck like i said if they're in the teen club they're there for a reason they're there because they want you to talk to them if they're outside the teen club then yeah they probably will reject you i'm not saying that they're going to reject you but i'm saying your chances of rejection outside the teen club are a lot higher than they are inside the teen club and i speak from experience so please trust me when i say that but with that being said that does not mean that you can't make friends outside the teen club because i also make a lot of friends when i'm outside the teen club it just really depends on the person you're going up to and how you approach them and how you present yourself you know what i mean but yeah so when you're inside the teen club go up to someone ask them if this is their first cruise and then ask them to play a game um but if you also don't want to go up to them and like say something like that then if you see someone playing like mario or something or just dance and it looks like something that you want to do literally just walk up to them and join the game you don't even have to ask them if you could play i mean of course it's like not like it's nicer to ask them if you could join but nine times out of ten whenever i play pool with people or like foosball and someone just walks up to us we're not like ew like who are you we're like oh yeah come join us like and i start asking them questions and boom instant connection right there so it's a lot easier um than people are making it out to make friends on cruise ships and that's like the thing that i want everyone to understand it is so possible to meet the best people that you want to meet on cruise ships it is so possible all you have to do is just listen to these tips and put yourself out there and i promise you it will happen so yeah outside the teen club are you part of the team club or are you going to the team club or how old are you and inside the team club is this your first cruise you want to play foosball with me you want to do this with me this with me that with me whatever also on the first day of the team club there will be an icebreaker and that's kind of when the team club leader will like ask everyone questions tell them like the rules of everything and during the icebreaker it's kind of awkward because everyone just like kind of sits down and looks at each other but then when it's done they kind of just start breaking off into groups and talking to people so i highly recommend taking advantage of that icebreaker to sit next to someone that you want to talk to so that when the icebreaker is done you can immediately talk to them whether it's a snarky comment be like huh that icebreaker was so stupid like what does she mean that we can't draw on the walls like literally whatever say whatever you want sit next to someone that looks cool so that you don't have to make uh, like you don't have to make yourself uncomfortable and walk up to that person and cross everyone because i know walking in a room full of people not looking down at your phone is a lot to bring yourself to do but the more you practice it the better it will be so just make it easier for yourself sit next to someone that you want to talk to and boom bada bing bada boom cruise bestie right there go up to that person with other people and boom that's how you get a cruise friend group 
Um, but yeah, so that's what I like to do when I'm inside the teen club, like specifically. Um, and usually after that, like when I kind of talk to everyone that I kind of like decide, okay, these are the people that are cool. These are the people that I don't really vibe with. And what we kind of do is we just break off into our own groups and then we leave the teen club and we never walk back inside again. We will sometimes do karaoke and just dance like occasionally, but we're never like those people that like stay in there making charm bracelets and playing Uno. Like those are the teacher pets. And I can make a whole separate video on screws cruise teen club stereotypes there's just a lot of different people it's literally like high school on a cruise ship and i hate the way that that is but it's literally like high school on a cruise ship um but yeah so that's how to make friends specifically for when you're inside the teen club and looking around the teen club but if you want to make friends when you're not in the teen club then i would say go to the basketball court the basketball court is literally the hot spot for teens and the hotspot for young adults. So if you're 18 plus and you can't go to the teen club, the basketball court is the best place to go. I swear, it's the best place to go. There will be a lot of cute boys. So boys out there, boys watching the video, if you want to make some friends with boys, go to the basketball court. You're literally just going to mesh in. Like, you don't even have to try hard at all. And where the boys are is where the girls are. So girls, if you want to be with a cruise fling, go to the basketball court and easily just talk to one of those boys. Be like, can I play basketball with you? But don't be pick me you know don't be a pick me but just like be cool about it you know what i mean on the first day of the last cruise i just got off me and my friends when i made my friend group we literally went to the basketball court at night and we just started talking to the boys we we're like are you guys gonna go to the teen club or what and then we made friends you know so it's just chill um but yeah go to the basketball court the girls like to sit down on the benches outside of the basketball court and just like watch the boys play so boys boys if you want to get a cruise fling you know um but yeah, basketball court is the second thing, is the most known place for teens to be if you don't want to go to the teen club. Because a lot of people that you see in the basketball court are not going to be in the teen club just because they just want to play basketball. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to be in the teen club and make friends. Like, you're literally going to be see teens everywhere. Hot tub at night. Um, literally, Lido Deck at the Guy's Burger Joint for specifically Carnival Cruises. Um, rock climbing. Um, some cruises have ice skating too. Some have roller coasters like Carnival Mardi Gras. So just go to the places that have the most happening. Go to the places that have events. Like if there's a deck party on Lido Deck. If there's something happening in Club Medusa. If there's a dinner party happening or a scavenger hunt. Go to that event and try to talk to as many people as you can talk to. So, I mean, I guess the point of this video is that you can literally make friends anywhere um i did try to be more vague when it comes to teen club and outside of the teen club because i'm not sure if everyone wants to go in the teen club or outside so i can make another more in-depth video on how to make friends specifically in the teen club and how to make friends specifically on the outside of the teen club for both people who can go to the teen club and people that are 18 plus and can't go to the teen club. And like I said, I can also make more specific videos on for the specific cruise line you're going on so you can be prepared for the events that you can participate in when you get on that boat. But um, yeah, I mean, honestly, like I said, like it's pretty chill. Like I probably explained it to be a lot more chill than it is, but I promise you, it will seem so nerve wracking right before you walk inside the teen club. But as soon as you're inside and you see like the events and the teen club leader and the people are literally just people you'll be like whoa like i just overreacted over nothing and even though i've been on 20 plus cruises i won't lie sometimes i get nervous sometimes i feel like i need that extra push and that's completely okay because we're both humans and we're both valid our emotions are valid so don't feel like there's something wrong with you for not being able to make friends on the first day but i promise you just look approachable feel confident be yourself and literally just do what feels right in the moment and you'll make a lot of friends. But if you have any specific more questions that you want to know, then feel free to check out my TikTok. It's going to be linked below. Also on Instagram, you can DM me or message me on Snapchat. I answered everyone's questions when they send me questions. I um, originally started posting cruise content on TikTok and my videos have been doing pretty well. So I was like, I wanted to start this YouTube channel to kind of expand my, um, my reach and because I know not everyone has TikTok, but like everyone has YouTube. So I just want to make sure that everyone is available to the resources that I can give. Because summer's here, like I said, dogs are out. Cruises are in. So I know people are wondering how to act on cruise ships. And this is the perfect 
video for that. But yeah, if you're about to go on a cruise ship and you have any more specific questions, like I said, feel free to reach out to me on my socials or comment down below. I'm planning on posting a new video every single day. Of course, we'll see how that goes, but that's what my goal is right now. But I really hope that this video helped you guys out. I love cruise ships. I love talking about this. I love helping people out. So I really hope that this eased some of your worries or nervousness because trust me, like this is your vacation. I know you want to make friends. That's a big part of it. But just have fun and make sure you spend time with your family too because your family does want to spend time with you, believe it or not. This is not that video, but it's the truth. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope I was able to answer this question as good as I could have in this video. But like I said, I'll definitely release more in-depth videos. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to be posting every single day. Um, my stuff is down below. Um, literally just feel free to like reach out to me about anything. I am the nicest person ever. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Don't be nervous. You're gonna have an amazing time on your cruise ship, no matter if it's real Caribbean or Carnival or Anthem of the Seas, whatever it is. You're gonna have an amazing time. And you're gonna find a cruise plane. Let's manifest it. I will manifest it for you. We will manifest together. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which will hopefully be about how to get a cruise fling. So stay tuned.